What's going on, mobile gamers? I'm going to be showing you guys today how to update your rooted Odin 2 live on the channel. The reason for this is because a lot of you have asked for this today, and I guess the video that I showed you before didn't work out the way that some of you thought it would. So I've already tested this out on my blue Odin this morning to the point where I rerouted it. And I am also going to show you this Odin 2 right here that is still not updated. So it's going to be a little bit of a different kind of video today just so that I can get you guys on your way and updated in no time. So work with me while I am figuring things out because I am using my other computer right now that is connected via my capture card so that we can do this because the way that I film, I use my phone and I also use uh, a, a program called Source Copy that I've been using for years for coding so that I can actually film my camera and stuff. So you guys can actually see this. So the first thing we are going to have to do on our device, I'm gonna try to make sure you guys can see it as best as possible here while I am trying to record things. is we're gonna go over to Magisk. So whatever your Magisk name is at this time, mine is called Warlords. So let me know if you guys can hear me, if everything sounds okay, if there's anybody in here that's watching, let me know how everything is going. Because again, I am trying to get this working so that you guys can update your device. I will be pulling out my phone every once in a while as well just so that you guys understand what is going on and what's gonna happen with this so we can get it updated. All right, so yeah, we can see perfectly fine. If you can't see my device, let me know. As I am looking at it right now, it is kind of hard to see. Um, Let me see if I pull that up closer like that. Actually, here, let me pull my camera down. Like I said, I'm doing this a little bit different. It's a little bit of a different way to do this, only because I don't have everything fully set up properly or multiple cameras going at the same time, plus having multiple devices plugged in at the same time via ADB commands. And there we go. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into our Magisk. So on our device, mine is called Warlords. That's what I named my Magisk app when I hit it from the Google Play Store, basically. So I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna go to my modules, and I'm gonna remove that Plague Integrity module. And this is only if you have that right now. So let's remove that. Now I'm gonna go home. I'm also going to long press on this. I'm gonna go app info and I'm gonna go clear storage and cache, just like so. And then I'm gonna go back in here, click okay, let it install. And it's going to reinstall that application on our device. Click allow, click okay, click cancel, and then click reboot, click reboot and reboot your device. So what we're doing here is just deleting that uh, play integrity off of our device. And while that's rebooting, you're gonna go on to your computer. You're gonna look for those Android rooting applications. So Android rooting files, Android platform tools. So we're gonna get platform tools ready to go here. And then we're gonna go over to our Odin or our Magisk application, go to modules, make sure that that's gone. And now we're going to plug in our device. Now, when we originally did our uh, routing, we ended up creating a backup file of our init boot image. So my init boot image is still on my device. So it's in my files and it is in my documents folder. Let me double check to see if I can find it here. Documents, so there's my init boot retro 278. And yes, I am still on 278 at this point. 
that's the last route that I ended up doing. So let's see if we can see that. I know it's a little bit bright in here. Here, let's. There we go. So 278 is my last image. How's it going, game and anime? Welcome. And then what we're going to do on the computer, as you can see, I'm over on the computer now. I'm going to actually minimize this window a bit. Oops. That's not it. Okay. Samsung. It's not it either. This one right here. There it is. Okay. So the reason why I'm using a separate computer for this live is because, again, I'm using ADB on my camera. And that is my camera, that is my phone basically to actually see the device that you see down here. I know it's a little bit confusing, but hey, thanks man. <laughs> yeah, I finally got a haircut and I got my beard trimmed down a bit. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was getting pretty bushy for a bit there, a big a bit, a bit there. I've had it bigger, but um, anyways, so in my internal storage on my device, I'm going to go to documents and I'm going to grab this in it boot image right here. So this is my original in it boot image that I ended up backing up when we did our route. So you should have that somewhere. You should have saved that somewhere. Um, I don't know. I don't want to try to, you know, share this with anybody because like this boot image that is because I'm not sure. I can't remember correctly if we can actually flash this default boot image anywhere. So what I'm going to do with this though, is just copy this. I'm going to drag it onto my desktop into my Odin root or my Android root files and paste it right here. So this is my last boot image for my slot on my device, which was my retro uh, device. Anytime I do any rooting or anything like that, I make sure that I have that file backed up. So it's not the end of the world. If you didn't do that, you can go all the way down to stock if you want to as well and then update it again looking sharp man thanks brian um so what <laughs> uh don't make me blush <laughs> trying to teach here so what we're gonna do so i copied this 278 file and now that it's copied onto my computer we can start the actual uh, adb commands and everything so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hold down shift on my keyboard i'm gonna right click somewhere in here to open up my powershell commands and open this right up here go dot forward slash adb devices to make sure that my devices are being detected and started so now you can see my my computer hasn't actually held on to this uh, device yet so click allow click allow and now i can see my devices on here so let's try this again adb devices and there we go so there's my devices um let me i keep i have like four different mice running here or three different mice running here so there we go so that and now you can see all my devices there right so the big thing that we need to do now is go forward slash adv reboot fast boot so now this is going to be our fast boot mode that we used before when we flashed our patched image so what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to wait for my device to restart as you can see it's restarting in the bottom left hand corner there go fast boot get var current dash slot wait for your device to show that it's in fast boot and there it is right there as you can see it's in the fast boot mode now i'm going to get my current slot it should be a still it shouldn't have changed because i haven't updated anything and why i say that is because my original in it boot image is in it boot a and i named it in it boot a retro because i have like three different odins so i had to make sure i knew which one was which um so that's my original boot image for that that actual specific device so what i'm going to do now is go forward slash or dot forward slash fast boot flash in it underscore boot underscore a space and then i'm going to grab this boot image right here and i'm going to drag it over here okay so now that i've dragged that over there i'm going to press enter on my computer hopefully it wants to cooperate there we go 
Now I got two OKs, which is perfect. It was just my computer being dumb. This is my old laptop. So now I'm going to go forward slash fat or dot forward slash fast boot reboot. All right. So I think I have root checker still on this device. So we're going to check to make sure that it's not rooted anymore before we go ahead and proceed. And yes, I'm going to do the full update for this device. I don't care, whatever. I'll just show you guys how to do that um, while updating, obviously. <laughs> so file transfer. Uh, let me see if I have root checker on here or not. Root Explorer. I still have Magisk. We're going to get rid of that as well. And no, I don't have root checker on here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back on my computer. I'm going to go dot forward slash ADB. Uh, devices make sure i can see my devices and then adb install this is how you install uh applications by the way if you want to learn how to do that you can install applications using adb commands and there's my root checker right there so rename highlight and copy that and then i'm just going to type that in here because i'm already inside that folder i can just paste that in there and it'll install on my device as you can see there and there's root checker right there. Click agree. Click OK. Verify root. And root is not properly installed, as you can see. And hopefully you can see it. Okay, let's try that. Not properly installed. But as you can see, the update's trying to push through. Don't update yet, though, because we're going to do a couple things. It's not going to break anything if you do, but uh, we're going to do a couple things. So first, we're going to go like this. We're going to go over to Play Store, long press on the Play Store. Actually, I should might as well show you guys the actual device. Okay, long press on the Play Store. Go App Info. I know it's really hard to see because this camera that I use sometimes is kind of crap. So storage and cache, clear storage, delete. Now we're gonna go back to settings. We're gonna look for apps. We're gonna scroll down to see all apps. Go search, type in Play and look for play services, storage and cache, manage space, clear all data, click delete, okay? Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to long press on your Magisk application, mine is called Warlords, whatever yours is called, and uninstall it. You're going to reboot your device. I'm gonna get rid of root checker as well, uninstall. Now we're gonna reboot it, so restart. I know where I have backup of my in it boot B. So is that your original backup image? Because if you don't have a backup of it, there's a way to actually flash back to stock. Um, like I said, I you sh you're not supposed to share your in it boot image with other devices. So I don't really want to do that. Uh, you should have backups of it and that like it check on your device check on your computer look all over the place if you can find it um, now We should be able to if it still bugs out. We should be able to though uh, Update our, our app or device. So go to system. Actually, I'm gonna double check my Play Store quick Make sure that everything is working fine settings not, not family Device is not certified, so we got rid of the certification properly and everything. That's good. Well, not good, but it's good enough. Go to system, updater, check for update. There's the new update. Click update. Wait for it to download. And this will take a few minutes for it to do its thing. I am live right now, so it might even take longer. Now, when this updates now, it's got a different menu when it updates, which is kind of neat. But we don't really need anything on the computer anymore because that part is done unless you want to reroute it. So if you want to reroute it, you can just go ahead and reroute it after you update it. Just the same way that I rooted the device before. It's really not that hard of a, a device to root um, unless AYN says, hey, do not root your device anymore or something because we've patched something or whatever, which I highly doubt they will. Uh, because these devices are technically unlocked by default because of the custom ROM that's on them. So this might take a few seconds. Let's just wait for it. Hope you're all doing well. Let's not forget about Saturday. Saturday, we're 
going live again at 7 30 p.m eastern time to give away the very first odin 2 out of the five that i have been giving away on the channel for the 10,000 subscriber yes 10,000 subscriber giveaway that is crazy that 10,000 of you have come to the channel um vincent santos if you want uh, like I said, uh, I might do a video about how to flash the Odin 2 back to stock. It's very easy to do. Um, Odin, if you go on the Discord channel, uh, they do have the steps on how to do it as well, but I can show you how to do it if you need to. Uh, maybe I'll do another video about that as well uh, for next week. I'll come up with a video for that. It's pretty simple. It's not really the hardest thing but you do lose your user data so like anything that's on your device uh, you'll lose all that and stuff unfortunately um now the big thing is when you reroute this too after sometimes they install the update on the second slot or the other slot so mine was on a right now it might be on in it boot b this time or something and that happened on my my other odin as well which was kind of annoying i don't know why that keeps happening i don't really understand the kernel side of stuff i understand how to flash this stuff and how to uh root it and stuff because i've done that forever but again going back to this saturday if you didn't jump into the entries for that giveaway because i've already closed off the entries for that giveaway other than yesterday's video for the um <laughs> for the mig switch flash cart which I was thinking on Saturday we would do a I would do a live Q and A for that Mig Switch flash cart. Uh, if you guys want to see that, I am going to do a deep dive into that cart a little bit more because yesterday's video was kind of a questions answered kind of. I have this cart finally now. It wasn't a hey. I was mad because I paid double the price for this thing. I was I paid double the price because I wanted to because I wanted to check it out. I was impatient and I was, you know, I wanted to see it come from AliExpress. But now we're still waiting for this to update. It does take a while sometimes uh, for it to update. But if, yeah, if you wanna see that on Saturday, comment on yesterday's video, you'll get one entry. I'm gonna tell you that right now, if you're live in here today, or if you watch this today, yesterday's video was about the MIG switch. I know there's about 11 or 12 of you in here right now. Um, you comment on that video, you gain one entry. And that's just a bonus just so that you guys can get an entry into that giveaway for saturday if you want to become a member members get more entries obviously for the low price of three dollars you can get five bonus entries into the giveaway that's three dollars canadian by the way i don't know what the conversion is um basically you get five bonus entries for the minimum base membership 10 for the gamer membership and 15 for the master membership plus you get perks you get Something ship, shipped to you via the mail after six months, if you send me your address, that is, via a letter post object that I am putting together for every membership tier, every membership tier to get something different. And that's based off of how many months you've been on that membership tier. So I'm explaining that today because whoever's in here wants to hear this or whoever jumps into this video later on to learn how to update their Odin 2, once it's rooted, we'll be able to do so. Ozzy B. Morales. <laughs> How's it going? I think I said your name right. Thanks for jumping in. Yeah, so basically we're just waiting for this to update. I know it takes a while. It always takes a while for this to update. And I have my third Odin being updated right now uh, to the latest one because I unrooted it as well. And I unrooted my blue one this morning and then did this update and then rerouted it again. But now I fully unrooted it because I wanted to check a couple things to share with you guys. So yes, <laughs> awesome, thanks. So yeah, this is how you do it. I know it was kind of a quick thing to show you, but it's very simple, very straightforward. I know, you know, it's not straightforward to everybody, but yeah, so next, this Saturday again, don't forget to jump into that live. For that giveaway for the odin 2 base model and you do get a 100 or 256 gigabyte micro sd card with that i didn't tell everybody that by the way but all of these devices that i'm giving away you get an extra 256 gigabyte micro sd card with it a fast a2 v30 micro sd card 
that works really, really well. I've been testing this brand for about three months now, and it's a really good brand, and it's a known brand. Um, let me see if I have any more in my drawer here. Or are they all put away? Oh, there, they are. there it is right there. So the Team Win Group, this one right here, that's the one that you're going to be getting with your Odin 2, whoever wins. And that's going to be going to one of you guys. And yes, shipping in North America, I'm going to explain that right now too, is free in North America. But out East, we will have to talk over email about shipping because it seems like somebody that won the last giveaway had an issue with that in their countries unless they use DHL or something. I don't know what the whole ordeal is. I'm not going to explain all that to you guys, but I will talk to you via email about shipping whoever wins. But in North America, it's going to be free shipping. Restart immediately. So there's the update. So there we go. New version. Click yes. Now that's going to be restarted and we're ready to go. So I unrooted the device. I updated it. I waited. I don't know how long that took, but um, it's, Took a while. <laughs> it took about five or ten minutes or whatever. I know it depends on your internet as well. I have this live streaming right now. My kids are probably watching TV, and I have my other one updating too, and I have my phone on. So however long that took, but we unrooted. I'm gonna double check the update, make sure everything is good to go. So we're on the latest firmware, which is 288. As you can see, there it is right there. We did update everything. We unrooted the device. And if you want to go back and watch this a couple times, go ahead and do so. But I thought I'd do this live just because I know that a lot of people are having issues with this and that's how you do it. Now, if you want to reroute it, I'm going to do that right now as, as well. Just as a bonus, just to show you, it is very quick and easy for me to reroute my device. I only, it only takes me like five or 10 minutes to do this. So what I'm going to do, because I want my device to be rerouted, for multiple purposes is I'm going to unplug my device. I'm going to plug it back in and go file transfer. Okay. Now I'm back on my computer and I'm only doing this just as a bonus because I do actually like going live whenever I can uh, and kind of shooting the crap with you guys. I try to keep it PG 13. I almost said the other word there. Um, <laughs> you guys know I'm a little bit older. I don't know how old you guys think I am, but I am a little bit older, so, and I have kids and stuff, and yeah, so let's do this. I'm going to do this, put this over here, and yeah, I do like hanging out with you guys. If you guys want to see me go live more often, let me know what you want to see on the channel. If you want to become a member, shoot me a super thanks, shoot me a super chat anytime. That helps support the channel. That helps support keeping the giveaways going. If you guys watch all of my content all the time there's 10,000 of you well over 10,000 of you now on the channel if you think about it if every one of you watch my video all the way through to the end my five to ten minute videos i know some of you are busy and a lot of you are busy and i'm busy too but if you watched every video i could probably give away more odin twos or more devices and i'm not just going to be like a giveaway channel i like to give away because i like to support or not support, but give back to the community because you guys are supporting me. And I like doing this. This is a hobby. This is a job now, sort of. And it's, you know, something fun that I like to do. It's not really a job. It's sort of like a, you know, <laughs> something that I like to do. So, um, and I like sharing how to do these kind of things because I know not everybody is tech savvy. And I think I've been kind of tech savvy since I was like six or seven years old when I first took apart my mom's computer. And I always share that story. <laughs> So what we're gonna do now, so we're gonna root this again. Um, the very first thing I like to do, I like to install Magisk. So I'm back on my computer here and I'm going to go shift, right click, shift, right click again, get out of that. Open PowerShell window, forward slash ADB devices. Okay, so there's my device, ADB, install Magisk. I think I named it Magisk26.apk. Don't worry if you name it wrong, it's not gonna break anything. And now it's installed on my device. As you can see, it's right here. Click allow. Now the first thing we got to do here is go ADB reboot or uh, go bootloader, not fast boot. Fast boot doesn't matter either. It's the same thing. Now what I'm doing now is just rerouting this only for the sake of being a bonus of the video because I want my device to be rooted. Now let's go fast boot, get var current slot. Mine is, as you see, it changed to slot B. 
So it, it installed that on slot B. Now I gotta remember that, so go fast boot, reboot. Now it's slot B. Now I'm gonna open up that QFill file or QFill application. And drink some water because my mouth is drying out. And I'm gonna search for QFill because I've already installed it on this computer. And there it is right there. Now I'm gonna be looking for my programmer path, which I've supplied you guys with. So Odin 2 stock firmware is what I've named uh, my stock firmware for my Odin 2. Now this can be found on the Discord. I will link that for you guys. Um, I will put that link in the description after this video is done so that you guys can jump over there and download it if you need it. That's gonna be taking you all the way back to December's update. They have not backed up every update, or at least I don't have every update for it. So we're gonna install this XBL underscore S underscore dev reg or dev PRG elf file. So go open, go load XML, click open again, patches, open again. Now don't click download because that'll download <laughs> if you had it in the EDL mode, that'll download the default um image to your your actual device so what i'm going to do is go adb reboot edl mode just like so now what i'm doing again for anybody that's just jumped in again as i've noticed more people have been jumping in uh is just i'm rerouting so that's what i'm doing right now so rerouting select existing port make sure qualcomm is set click ok and click tools go to partition manager click ok now, if this bugs out for any reason at the bottom here, I know you can't kind of see it. There we go. Um, it's not bugging out for me, but if it bugs out, then you just need to unplug it, try a different port, try a different USB port or something on your computer. I had somebody ask me about that today, and then they tried a different computer and it worked. So I'm going to go to init boot B. That's the, the partition that we ended up finding out that we are sitting at. Go to manage partition data. Click read data. Now, take note of your COM port. The COM port doesn't matter for you or me. It just depends on what your computer reads that COM port as, as as well. Mine is COM port three. Yours might be COM port 22 or something. It doesn't, that doesn't matter. You just need to know what COM port yours is. So now I'm gonna go to my file manager, go to this PC. I'm gonna go over to my local disk, my users, my family laptop is my name. And now I'm gonna go into my app data folder. If you can't see that, you just need to make sure you um, show hidden files basically. Now open that up, go to roaming, go to Qualcomm right here, go to QFill, COM port three, and there is my backup file of my new updated version 288 of my Odin 2. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna go init boot B288 retro. That's what I'm gonna name this. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna go to my desktop. I'm gonna go to my files, Android rooting files, and I'm gonna paste it just right here for the time being, because now that we have that done, I'm gonna click close, I'm gonna click close again, and click okay, and this should reboot your device if you set up QFill properly. If it doesn't reboot your device, you just have to long press on your power button after you've closed it all out, and then wait for your device to reboot. We don't need QFill anymore, I'm gonna click okay. Now I'm going to wait for my device to reboot, which it has. I'm going to click on file transfer on my device. And sometimes it bugs out like this and shows double the, the partitions. So unplug it, plug it back in. Now click file transfer. And there is your main files. Now that's just my SD card and that's my internal storage. And this is a pro version of the Odin 2. So I'm gonna to go to my internal storage, I'm gonna to go to my documents, and then I'm going to grab this 288 boot image, copy it. I'm gonna go back into my documents folder and I'm gonna paste it right here. Now make sure you back this up somewhere if you do this again. Don't delete it, just save it somewhere on your computer if you decide you wanna root again, otherwise don't worry about it. But like I said, I just thought I'd do this as a bonus. Now, the reason why I'm putting this into my documents is because we're gonna go jump back over to our Odin 2 for a second. Okay, and I'm gonna unplug this. The reason I unplugged this is just to make sure. And I'm gonna look for Magis. Go so Magis is all the way over here. I'm gonna click install, click select and patch file. Go to my documents folder in my Odin 2. 
I'm gonna look for my in it boot B retro. Click let's go. And now it's been written to my downloads folder. I'm gonna plug this back into my computer. Click file transfer. Now I'm gonna go to my internal storage on my computer. So I'm gonna make sure you guys can see this. I was in the middle of uh, hacking some stuff today. Stay tuned for that video. Hint, hint. <laughs> uh, Nintendo Switch. Anyways, um, some of you have already seen the video about me hacking my Nintendo Switch. I've, I'm trying to hack another one. Um, that's members only. It'll be out on Saturday during the day. But let's get back to this. So now I'm going to look for that patched image. And... Let me double check which one it is here. So 411 right here. So I have another one right here. So I'm going to copy this one like this. I'm going to take it and put it on my desktop in my files, in my Android rooting files, and I'm going to paste it right here. And then I'm going to rename this so I know which one this is. So patched retro 288, just like so. And then I'm going to reboot into fast boot mode. We go forward slash ADB reboot fast boot just like so. Wait for that to reboot. Now go forward slash fast boot get var or not get var devices. Wait for it to reboot and do its thing. And there it is. Oh no. There we go. So devices, there's our devices. Fast boot, flash in it. Spell it right. In it underscore boot underscore B. And then we're going to drag and drop that patched image over here. And I'm going to press enter. And there we go. Okay, okay. Fast boot, reboot. And now we're going to reboot again. And we're going to check to make sure that it's rooted. All right, there we go. So now it's rooted. Let's go file transfer and to actually double check. I think we still have, do we have root checker on here still? Or did I delete it? I think I deleted it. So let's install root checker again. Dot forward slash ADB. Install. And what did I name that? Root checker pro APK. And now we're gonna open it, click agree, click okay, verify root. And now we have root access again, verify root, device is rooted. And yes, there we go, it's rooted. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. Let me grab this. And there you go, there's root access one more time. And that's root access back on the latest build of our Odin 2, which is 288. And the reason for that is because there's certain games and stuff that still don't work properly without this. So there's a bonus at the end there. So I've showed you guys today how to unroute, update, then reroute if you want to reroute. You don't have to if you don't want to. Warzone, I guess, works fine. I haven't tried it without the root. And that's what I'm going to be doing with my other device here. And yeah, don't forget about Saturday, guys. The Odin 2 base giveaway is this Saturday, live on the channel at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And we're going to be checking out the MIG Switch flashcard during that live for a bit. We might not do that the whole time, but that's what we're going to do. I'm going to cover some stuff. I'm going to ask you guys questions. I want to hear what your questions are about this thing. And we'll try to, I'll try to answer them the best I can because it seems like a lot of misinformation has been floating around. I own the thing. I know how to use it. And I understand that, you know, you can find things certain ways. But anyways, there you go. Hopefully that was helpful. Very quick afternoon, short, half an hour. It was only 36 minutes. And I unrooted, rerouted, updated for you guys. So hopefully that was helpful. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you just jumped in. 
have yourself a nice day enjoy your new updated 288 odin 2 there'll probably be a 300 by next week or something because this update broke a couple things anyways bye, -bye.